thing about mushrooms is if you're not sure the type of mushroom it is, uh, don't eat it. Because, you know, bad things could happen. We have a mix of mushrooms here that were foraged from the commercial markets of New York City. I don't believe in washing mushrooms because they're porous and they absorb water. So the best thing to do is just give them a real good visual inspection and then use a dry paper towel and brush all that stuff off. You want a mushroom that's firm, that doesn't have a lot of soft spots, that has a nice healthy looking stem. And with these you want to look for a nice cap that's curled underneath. So this one looks really fresh and not so, see the difference? Don't throw away any of your trimmings or your stems because mushroom stems make amazing vegetable stock. They're really aromatic and really flavorful. My favorite way to prep them is to just pull them into bite-sized pieces. Don't, don't chop, just tear. The pan is nice and hot. The oil is going in. All right, let's see. This is like the literally the most inefficient way to get the mushrooms into the pan. They already look pretty. And I just wanna make sure that these guys are making contact. But you've gotta to toss them a little, just to make sure they're coated. Some people do not season the mushrooms until they have color on them because they believe that the salt is gonna cause them to release more of their liquid. I don't believe in that. I'm seeing some browning. And this is like any other searing technique. You make sure that you're getting color, but not getting the browning so fast that the mushroom dries out before it gets tender. Okay, you could stop there if you wanted to, but we're gonna go extra credit. And extra credit around here is gonna start with butter, garlic, and the thyme. It's kind of perfection. Delicious. I think that because mushrooms are so earthy and rich and kind of have all that like savory flavor that they benefit from just a little bit of acidity. So this is um, sherry vinegar, which I love with mushrooms. So this is an awesome side dish obviously for like any big steak or scallops or a piece of seared fish or right onto bruschetta with some whipped ricotta. But I was in the mood for polenta today. It's like a fantastic savory porridge. It's morning here in the kitchen, so this is breakfast. Leona, you want a little polenta? Of course. More of an animal. But that's the thing. Oh, more of an animal than a plant. Yeah, DNA-wise. Where was this guy this morning? <laughs>